Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can use triple S pass inside Nuke. So basically triple pass uh, is a very uh, specific kind of pass which includes the light penetration inside any thin surfaces of skin where you can see more reddish kind of stuff. So without wasting any time, let's jump to screen and let's see how we can render our triple S pass and how we can use it inside Nuke. Okay, so as you can see over here inside my Maya, I have already rendered my file. So as you can see over here, I am having uh, my Azure character. And if you want to know more about Triple S uh, setup inside Maya, I have already made a very detailed video upon Triple S setup. So I will recommend that video to check first. So here I have my setup. Let me explain a few things. So I have set up my camera and if I'm going over here in... Uh, or an old render setup. I am using camera uh, 5 diffuse 4, nothing much. And here in AOV, I have uh, set up my render passes on ID, normal pass, point position pass, G depth if required. Then crypto mat for selection purposes and then direct light, indirect light, specular and triple S. That's it. And after this, just I rendered my pass in multi-layered EXR. So let's jump to Nuke and see how we can do our Com. Okay, so here in Nuke, as you can see over here, I have my render and if I'm going to show you the layer contact sheet, we can see I have RGB, depth and normal pass, point position pass and few crypto mats are available. Then we have diffuse, direct pass, indirect pass, specular pass and triple S, right? So to save some time, just I splitted my uh, AOVs in uh, like diffuse, triple S, direct, indirect, specular, depth and crypto object. If we want to know uh, how we can set up our AOVs inside Nuke, I will recommend to check one video which I have explained in very detail that how we can do our first AOV setup inside Nuke. Also, we can follow this video as well to understand. So, as always, I prefer to start with Albedo Pass and personally, I prefer my triple S to mix with or to blend with my Albedo Pass because uh, it gives me a better result. So I'm going to use a merge and my Albedo will be the B or base or my triple S will be the, my foreground and I'm going to merge it with the plus or screen, whatever you feel, you can do that. After that, I'm going to add my light passes, which is my direct pass and indirect pass. So let's take merge and let's connect it. I'm going little fast. So I'm going to plus it one more time. And as you can see over here, I am having my burnouts, right? So I'll fix it. So I'm going again, I'm going to take merge node and I'm going to connect my indirect light and I'm going to plus it as well. So as you know, if you're following me from a long time, as you know, any light related elements should be blend in plus mode, right? So again, specular is a light entity. So I'm going to hit M on keyboard to take merge node and I'm going to plus it. Now I have to fix my burnouts because as I can see over here, my beauty is not as my uh, output. So it's coming from albedo because albedo texture having the information of brightness and contrast. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a grade node and I'm going to view from this place and I'm going to grade it down a little as per my requirement, right? So now I'm having a good amount of my this thing this much I'm going to use. And if I'm going to disable my triple S, as you can see, I'm not having much information of light penetration. Why it's coming red after it or after disabling my triple S because in direct light also I'm having little impact on that as well. So if I want to increase my triple S information, so what I can do, I can just use a grade node and I can increase it. But I have another way to use it. What I'm going to do a very little trick. So I'm going to take a node called a uh, glow and I'm going to connect it. Nothing fancy. And I'm going to hit effect only. And I'm going to merge it with my original triple S something like that. And I can plus it or screen it whatever you feel. And as I'm going over here, 
you can see suddenly my triple s pass is working pretty nicely to control it what i can do i can just minimize or i can just lower down my mix value and as you can see over here a kind of smooth glow is coming which is giving me a good result and now as i can see i am having my burnouts over here let me figure it out from where it's coming of course it's coming from direct light so what i can do i can just take a grade node and i can lower down the gain a little not much something like that also i am seeing over here i am having a burnout so also we can control it how we can do it just either i can take another grade node right and i can take a mask before that just i have to set my project i forgot to do that and i'm going to take a roto and let's let's do that in a very rough way and i'm going to hit e might be i can take a blur node and let's use it as a mask let's blur it a little and then i'm going to reduce my white point okay so uh, one problem is coming i am able to decrease it but i am affecting my background right so why it's happening because i rendered my background with my character so what i have to do i have another pass over here called crypto mat right so i can use my crypto mat over here something like that let's paste it and i'm going to take my crypto node right so nothing is coming so what you have need to change just you need to change layer selection to material so what will happen this will come and you can easily pick it so what will happen what will happen you have selection right so rather than using this what i can do i can directly use this and now you can see over here i am having a good result so let's disable my blur and let's do this okay so i control my burnout like this and what i have i have my indirect pass and i have merged it and now i am getting my good result again you can control it specular as well the, the same way i did so i'm not going to do that because i'm liking the way it's uh, light is coming from back so after that i can might be i can uh, tweak my specular in a different way if you are new to this channel i always tweak uh, specular in a different way i'll suggest you just go and check my any uh, live cg or passes compositing uh, videos and you will come to know so here i want to use my depth pass so how i can do that so already i shuffled my depth and i'm going to copy my depth in my main channel or mainstream something like that and what i'm going to do i'm going to say boss red channel should be copied into depth channel and now after that i'm going to take a node called g defocus right so g defocus in g defocus we have uh, multiple things already i have made a very detailed video regarding uh, g defocus i'll try to give link in uh, card or probably in description as well so i'm going to uh, select my g defocus and i'm going to put my focal plane on nose because i want to focus on nose and uh, eyes right so as you can see i'm having a very bad uh, kind of stuff or bad kind of result because it's uh, due to anti-aliasing so what i can do first thing first i'm going to output and just let me uh, select my focal plane so i'm going to adjust my focal plane green is something that area will be in focus fully focus and red will be out of focus right so after that i'm going to change to result and i'm having a very bad kind of edges so what we have to do we have to change it to depth so as i'm going to change it to depth i have to increase my defocus size and as you can see over here i am having a very subtle kind of effect and i am having my defocus as well so right and let me adjust my focal plane as well so i don't want that much area to be focused i want little lesser something like that and let's change to result and now i am having my ear defocused as well my this thing defocused as well also i can change my filter type to bladed 
and as you can see i am having my blade kind of uh, bokeh and also we can do some grading as well so already i made lots of lots of videos uh, regarding grading and all so you can go in and you can check so just i'm going to increase a little contrast and after that i can do my vignetting so i can take a node called radial and i can do things like i can invert it let's increase the size of radial and you can do your compositing or you can do your grading and you can do your elements adding as per your requirement so this video was uh, on regarding triple s only and i hope i have cleared each and everything this is there is no rocket science to add triple s just you have to use it with your uh, diffuse pass or albedo pass and you can play with your blending or you can play with your glow you can add glow to your uh, triple s shader and you can use it as per requirement so i i think it's a, a very informative video and if you if you think that this video is informative and this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfxy signing off have a good day